Hi guys, I haven't been on for a while. I haven't made a video for a while, but um, um, hope everyone is doing okay. Um, I ended up catching the coronavirus in um Christmas time. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, during Christmas time, I didn't even know about it, and um, uh, I got the results a month later. So yeah, that really helps. I mean, it was the only test I did take that was the most accurate, which is the DNA test. Um, like you spit in the cup or whatever, and then you get the most accurate results. So I'm kind of wondering about all the other tests I've been taking, how accurate they were, which they really aren't. The ones for your nose swab ones? No. They're not very accurate at all. So <laughs> that's an issue. Um... Yeah, so I, I came out positive and um, and then I took some tests later on and um, uh, there 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 was a swab test the nose swab and they were saying that I'm negative but really to think about it I think that the most accurate test is the DNA test and that's, they don't offer that one in very many places like certain places that's why I got lucky to get the one time that I did find the place but it took me a long time and it was like a long wait. Um, so, so, um, so since it was positive, <clears throat> I have a hard time believing that these tests that do just your nose swab are very accurate. And um, they might, det I think they detect, um, excuse me, wow. Sorry about that. They detect the, uh, the the appearance of the virus in your nose, but they're not. They don't detect the virus in your body at all. So this is why uh, those don't make any sense to me. So I'm pretty sure I have the coronavirus still. I can't prove that because, um, of course, the only test they really offer are the uh swab nose tests that aren't accurate and they keep coming back with a negative result which i don't believe in so um so um yeah so that's the thing <coughs> and um since the the test you know how is that i don't know when this thing comes out of your body you know how long it lasts in your body but they say that you have the symptoms, you could have symptoms uh, months after, even up to months after you are no longer positive, which doesn't make sense to me because the, obviously if you're still having symptoms months later, then you still have it, right? Am I correct or not? So, you know, they're not telling us the truth about anything and uh, I'm really upset and, and scared because I am having a lot of problems still. Uh, from having the virus and I don't see any help anywhere to help me to to do anything because um the the virus this is what I really believe is the virus uh, uh, came after my heart and my lungs are fine because I did a, a chest x-ray and everything and then I did also my vital organs other things in my body so, and I had sonograms for that. So, they, they, nothing has hit my body in that sense, but my heart has been uh, irregular, be irregular beating for a long time now. Um, even before, I'm not going to blame it on the vaccine, because even before the vaccine, I've been having the irregular heartbeats and also heart, heart very fast heart rates <laughs> at times it was before the virus uh, before I got the vaccine so pretty sure it was when I was infected with the virus not going detected because all the tests I was taking were the swab tests and they were negative but I'm pretty sure that I, would, I, I did have it and my body which affected my heart and not my lungs so just a warning to people um 
if you want to know if you have the virus or not you have to get a dna test you cannot go by a swab nose test that's only checking if you have anything in your nose from the virus that's it i mean <laughs> you know like they don't even go that far up or anything look at all these doctor places just these doctor places popping up everywhere so what happened to me is what i concluded is i've had this virus a while back and forth or something but, but i don't even think that it goes away to be honest even though that doesn't really make sense because with our history of knowing viruses viruses usually don't last forever they go away at some point you know so this is the confusing thing i don't get but i'm pretty sure i still have it because i'm still having heart problems and um I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Um, the lightheadedness and the dizziness comes and goes. And um, um, it's very difficult for me because I am in a bad situation financially right now. On top of that. And um, there's, no, there's no remorse for my situation. And I'm sure there's other people suffering as well but a lot of people have a false sense of security that they're not infected when they actually are and that's what I believe okay so and that's what I'm seeing and also what I'm seeing is that a lot of people are going to get it and it affects them and I don't know if it's repairable the ways that it affects people but it might be um it might be repairable, I don't know, but I have to consistently see a heart doctor now, which is very scary, because I also have anxiety, and they keep saying it's my anxiety this, but I know it's not, it's not that only, so, you know, um, hopefully, they, and my blood pressure has been high consistently in a lot of, um, at a lot of times that I get my blood pressure checked. Um, um, I thought it was just the stress that I've been going through because, um, you know, my divorce and what my, what my ex-husband did, right, when the pandemic started is when he filed the divorce. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, I lost a lot of money on top of that. And, um, um, I went through the stress of traveling all the way and making sure my car is, you know, up to date with repairs and things so I could travel my way to, um, a different state, which was far. It's 10 hours away. And, um, I'm all by myself and to figure out a place to stay there and temporarily because I didn't have the money to stay permanently because of my and um, and um, you know, I'm on a, I'm on disability because of my other situation where before this started, I was uh, I had severe PTSD, which I still have, anxiety, um, you know, um, depression and panic attacks, things like that. that I have because what has been done to me from the narcissist and psychopaths that I've been associated with and um so um yeah so they're threatening to take my health insurance away which I really need that's the most important thing is my health insurance to and now that I have this new health condition now where you know there's something with my heart that um that has to be controlled maybe with some blood pressure medication but they really can't do much else they have some other things like think medications to help with that and uh i'm going to go see the doctor because i need help i don't know what to do like i can't keep going to the emergency room thinking that i'm gonna pass out or you know my heart's beating irregularly again like they don't know what to do with that they don't do anything actually in the emergency room. They, uh, 
really the emergency room is really just what it is emergency room. so so that's what i did they gave me a referral to the heart doctor and that's what i'm doing but this is a con ongoing thing where i have to be in new jersey to do this uh and i can't lose my health insurance because i don't know if my heart could fail or something if I don't take the medications and all that, you know, so it's really important for me to keep my insurance and all that, but right now I don't have a real stable place to stay, and, um, but I need to be in New Jersey, so, but my kids aren't here, and they're in Michigan, but I need to, I know I have to take care of my health first, and I'm trying to do that. government and all that is making me hard to do that. Um, I just, I'm praying for them to um, retain my benefits that they try to take away from me. Um, and um, uh, I control my anxiety and all that and hopefully my blood pressure will go down. And the most important thing is my heart rate that keeps going up and it's bad. So... the coronavirus and I'm, I'm pretty sure I did early on in the pandemic and like I said be careful okay this is just a warning because be careful of the test they're claiming that they're accurate they're not accurate they only they only can detect if it's in your nose if it's in your you know it's in your I guess respiratory system you know so if it's not in your respiratory system, like your stomach or your heart and things like that, they won't be able to detect it with a swab test. Okay, so please find a place that has um, the spit thing that you spit in the tube or whatever that uses your DNA. That is the more only accurate test there is for the coronavirus to see if it's in your body at all, at, at any part of your body. And that's what we need to do. And there's a lot of people with this false assumption that, uh, that they're okay and they're not carrying the virus, which they actually are. Okay, so uh, th that's all I had to say about that. It's a warning to people. And I hope everyone is doing okay and figuring out how to navigate this um, new normal was what they said. And they kept saying it and they said it, didn't they? Because we're not going back to any other kind of life. This is how it's going to be now. And um, that's, they don't want to tell us that the virus, you know, the virus is not going anywhere. There's no way they could destroy viruses. <clears throat> we know that. This could be a big, I don't want to overthink things, but this could be a the, the way that we're going to um, wipe out because of how long the symptoms stay for the coronavirus is quite a long time considering for some people, I guess, some people will die off or eventually, right? And then the people that have very good immunity or whatever the issue, whatever their luck is, they'll be the ones okay. And I think maybe this has to do with nature and the way that they weed out people. And I really believe that. So as much as it hurts to um, as much as it, it hurts to say that, like a natural kind of selection of nature. Regardless if this is a man-made virus or not, which I think they tampered with it to create a stronger one to wipe more people out. I believe that, but I don't know for sure. Um, so, um, uh, the only thing I can do is manage my heart as best as I can, even though I think also it's in my stomach, but I did get a sonogram for my stomach because I have my own whole bladder issues, which is okay, but the most important thing is to maintain my heart health, I would say. That's the most affected organ, I think, from the virus, and also my anxiety helps to ram that, ram up 
about my blood pressure. So uh, yeah, I, I know how I, I know who I am. I know my body. I mean, I don't go by what people think and say or try to tell me. So I'm okay with it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, comment to encourage me to make the videos. Thank you guys. Bye.